Hello, I'm Fiona Orchard and I'm the head of Pressfield School in Shrewsbury. I think the really biggest message we've given to our children through this campaign and this project has been that we can all play our part. It's, it's a fantastic programme to be involved in, so when Waste Bus has asked us to be involved in the Recycle to Read programme, we absolutely embrace this. The assemblies are just fantastic, the children are so engaged. Yeah. Put your hands up if you want to watch Captain Must. Oh, we definitely want to watch so, we've all got toys we don't play with anymore, right? Of course we do, but do not throw them in the bin. No, 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 no. Um, and even all the posters and everything that's available online, all the lessons, really, really helpful and really cut down teacher workloads. And it also enlightens children, brings lots of different resources and lots of different ideas into the classroom. But at the same time, we're kind of reinforcing all of the other recycling initiatives that we've got around our school, that everything has a value and everything has a life um, and that we need to look after materials and resources ready for the next child that comes in and has that lovely learning journey. You no, know, they have that opportunity to set everything up, to be a part of it, to be putting posters up and, and it's really helped them to actually learn that it's a really big thing that we're doing and how important it is. Our children are very, very good at uh, telling their parents uh, why we need to do this and why we would reuse and why we use pre-loved toys, why we want to um, use our use the things that we have and to pass them on. Yeah, it was very exciting because I think lots of people keep their toys when they don't actually need them or use them and lots of people just throw them out when really there are people who want them and need to use them. With this programme we can recycle things maybe we're, we've grown out of and the little things just make a big impact on the world. Maybe we can like say things that mum, mummies and daddies are just about to put in the bin. I think you should, should recycle toys more when they get broken and not chuck them in the bin so they don't get to a landfill and get rid of more landfills. As a mum, I'm really, really conscious of all the plastic waste that builds up at home with all the excess toys and toys that get broken. So it is really nice to know that something like Recycle to Read can reuse those toys and turn them into something new. I've definitely started to look for toy companies that are putting sustainability first because obviously as a parent um, when you're buying for your own children or other people's children it's really nice to know that there are companies now who you can trust and who are behind it. For them to grow up having a more sustainable mindset is probably one of the best things that we can teach them. To see the bags and bags of textiles and toys that have come in and the children smiling so happy about the part they're playing. Aww. I think we should like recycle more just because like um, if, you, if you don't use this thing anymore there's no point like keeping it you have to like reuse and like recycle things so yeah. Absolutely it's been brilliant and the children really want to get involved yeah. and it is great to clear your cupboards out. <laughs> All those things that you're not going to use anymore or you've never even opened yeah. and someone else is going to get the chance to use them so brilliant. I think the really important part for the children is they've seen pictures of the oceans. We've done a lot on global goals, we've looked at plastics, we've looked at recyclable plastic and how to do so. To see that Wastebusters are taking this another step further and to see the, the clips about what happens to the plastic, which we really can't use and can't, you know, don't want to send to landfill, was a really exciting moment. I think what we're getting back from the children is just all this wonderful message that the recycling is the very last bit and that we're going to do all we can with the products to get the best use out of them before we go to that. I think it is a great idea to have a toy swap because of the fact you can use tokens like these to get a whole new toy after getting rid of a bunch of old toys that you don't want. I think they've been excited bringing in their toys because they know that maybe one of their friends is going to choose that toy. There is always value in things that they don't use anymore, that just because they, they haven't got a use for it, that they can still pass it on to somebody else, they can donate it, they can swap it. It really shows the value of things and it shows that when you give, you also get back in the end. I think I will try to give all my old, my old toys to people who need them. It's given them lessons for life in, and it's instilled in them that you can still do something with those things you don't need. Making sure that things get played with if they're not loved. And the fact that we can recycle to read is just brilliant because we're getting books back for all the wonderful things that they've donated. Well, it feels like a real win-win.
um, we have um, you know, quite a limited budget as to what we can spend on resources. So when we've got the opportunity to not only teach children about the value and how much things cost, but also give the opportunity to plough something back into the school and to diversify the resources that children can access, we, we leapt at the chance, to be honest. I think it's those little things that you have to do to make a big impact. Yes, I think it will have a very good effect because it will make people think how they have so much stuff that they don't actually need, so they'll give it to good causes and help the environment. I don't think it's ever been done before, so it's going to be really cool to see like loads of new things being made and I'm really excited. To be honest, if we're making history, then I feel like a celebrity. <laughs> they are the generation of tomorrow. It will be about their children and their children's children, and so they want to play their part.